Bob in Wolverine Lake, Michigan. I can just hear the howls now. Oh, oh, them Wolverines are out to get you under the full moon. Or maybe that's a werewolf. Okay, whatever a Wolverine. Doesn't sound like a very nice critter. Anyway, <laughs> hi, Paul. I just want to start by thanking you for the PS Audio sound. Ooh. Everything I've ever owned or heard, I have liked. My question is, I just ordered your M700s. Those are our monoblock amplifiers from Stellar, uh, the, the uh, Stellar series. And it got me thinking that if monoblock amps are good, would monoblock preamps also help? Thanks. Well, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And there have been a few of them, but far fewer mono preamplifiers than mono power amplifiers, and I'll tell you why. But first, let's talk about why we would do mono anything. So a mono power amplifier is a single chassis device that requires two boxes in order to make stereo, where typically we would put the you know, two channels of power amplifier into one box, and that of course makes a stereo amplifier. Now we're going to divide that up. And so each of the channels has its own power supply, its own amplifier, its own chassis, plugs into the wall uh, by itself. All of that goes for better isolation, better separation you know, between channels. The uh, sharing of a power supply is never great. I mean, even if you, you know, if you have twin power supplies inside a single chassis, you're still you know, sharing a power cord. So all of that, because of the currents that it's taking, it's always better to have monoblock amplifiers. And you know, that's one of the reasons why we made the, the M700. That's an affordable, excellent sounding monoblock amplifier. Here's a chance for people at really down to earth, reasonable prices to get the advantages of a monoblock amplifier. And there are, I mean, it just sounds better. There's, and there's a whole bunch of reasons for it. Okay. Monoblock preamp, same thing. But of course, a monoblock preamp doesn't take a lot of current. So even though we're not sharing a power supply from a high power current standpoint, we are sharing it from the grounds, the common grounds, the, the common uh, uh, power supply draw, the, the proximity of channel to channel. You get crosstalk a little bit. It's not bad, but you know, anytime you can separate that out, you're always better off. The problem comes down to the volume control, right? So a volume control is critical in terms of sonics. How you build a volume control has so much to do with how good, bad, ugly, or beautiful a preamp sounds. Used to be we'd buy these potentiometers from Alps or Noble and they, I mean, we spent tons of money trying to find the best sounding potentiometer and they all sound different. If you remote control it, there's an electronic circuit and it affects the sound. Our gain cell DAC, I mean, that's one of the best ones that we've been able to come up with so far to where there is no volume control. We just control the gain of the preamplifier itself. Even that, of course, makes a difference in the sound. Everything we do in engineering is a compromise. And our task is to make as little of a compromise as we can. So the volume control is a problem. How do you, especially if you have a knob, how do you, I mean, you can't, you don't want people turning it up and down. I, I remember years ago, Mike Moffat, who now owns Shit Audio, I always spell it for you, S-C-H-I-I-T, he and Jason Stoddard started uh, uh, Shit Audio. Great company, great products, and very affordable. And he made a Theta preamp that had, was a two chassis preamp and they had, he had sliders, uh, you know, slide pots. So that was kind of cool because even though they were in two chassis, you move the two, you know, and you had to keep, if you went like this, you got them out of balance. But as long as they kind of stayed together, you know, I think even some people came up with a, a connector between the two, so kind of like a bar you could move it. But it's kind of goofy. It's kind of goofy. And it's not elegant. So we like to have the 
ability to have a knob and a single knob and turn it. Or you can remote control it. Now one of the ideas that we've had, because we've discussed doing monoblock amps, is to have two completely separate channels in a, in a preamp, but have the top one have the pot and all that, and the second one uh, a slave to that. So that's one possibility, and, and we might explore something like that. So, All right, great question. Hope that answered it. Thanks for asking. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.